Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Memory Link. Now this game was developed by Urantia Games, published by Phoenix Reborn Games and is available for a lovely small £3.99 slash $4.99 US style. Now this is a story all about how a guy got flipped and upside down and is chasing a girl in his memory. I get it. We've all been there, you know, boring job, then you end up daydreaming about being with someone ten times hotter than you are, but that's bullcrap, because you are smoking hot. Every single one of you is smoking hot. But you get my drift. This is kind of like that. I mean, our guy has a team for redheads, and I am with him there, to be honest. Anyway, it's actually more heartwarming than creepy, as I made it sound, so, uh, whoopsie. Right, anyway, easy, very easy achievements. We have to basically... Use a checkpoint, fall into a pit, collect up to five fragments, sit on the swings, climb a ladder, and finish the first level. It's nice to have these games where you can just breeze through, eh? Either way, this is going to take you only literally around five to ten minutes to complete. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Now, there's no main menu, we're just going to be thrust into the game, which is all good. The A button to jump, the X or Y button to, or A or B to jump, X or Y to run. And obviously left stick to move, that's all we're going to need. So, press the down button here when you see this little fragment of whatever it's called. And this will put us into the first level, plus get us the Curious Cat achievement. Anytime that you see this little putty 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 cat, that is the checkpoint. So, head down, what we're going to do is just drop straight into the pit, first of all. And that's going to get us the Oops achievement. So, of course, what we need to do afterwards, when we get that achievement, is jump over the pit. Yes, I'm sure you would have got that by now. So jump over the next pit, and the next pit, and here's the first fragment as well. It's a lot of these, there's only one that you sort of may end up missing, um, but the, ma the, the majority are pretty much on the same straight path. So here's the next checkpoint, then we'll just keep going down, so run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me. I'm a, yeah, apparently this guy's a creepy stalker man. So jump over the next pit anyway. <laughs> And if you just keep going, press the X or Y button to push this box. And we're just going to push this over to the right-hand side so we can climb up. Make sure to grab the second fragment star here as well. And that'll get you the next achievement right now. So drop down. Now, you don't actually need to push this box. So leave the box alone and just keep running to the right. And by the magic of editing, well, the box is going to disappear. Ah, oh, how did that happen? Eh, magic. Right, jump over. Now... It's easier, what I find, to, to hold and then press the X and A button at the same time. That gives you like a little running jump. So if you if you are falling into any of the spikes right there, just do a bit of a run jump. Uh, so just keep climbing up. It's a fairly obvious path. But what we're going to do when we get to this point, jump up into the box and jump left. And this is where you get fragment number three. Now, quick note, if you do end up dying on the next set of spikes for whatever reason, come back and grab this third one. Otherwise, it'll lock you out with the next swing achievement. So just a word of warning. Right, when we get to the bottom of the steps here, make sure to jump over to the right because there's a set of spikes there to the left. So game has saved. So we get we are going to push this box now all the way down. So push it all the way down. Just note, because I missed, because I died um, and I had missed that third fragment, I had to completely uh, delete the save and um, start again. Uh, so just be aware of that one. So push the box into the spikes, jump up, and here is fragment number four. As long as you got the fourth fragment and the achievement unlocks, we should be good to go. So make sure to jump up. Little running jump. Game saves. And then when we see the swings right now, we are going to press down on the D-pad. And we are going to just chill with our button mushroom haircut. That kind of looks like a... Yeah, well, I'm not even going to tell you what that looks like. But there goes our uh, seductress. Our... <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, the lady of the of the day. Yeah. Anyway, once that little cutscene's finished, we're gonna keep carrying on, and now we're running after her. So this does actually seem quite creepy. Right. So this is kind of a puzzle. But what we're gonna do is jump over here. When we drop down, we're gonna stay as far right as we can. So drop down and stay far right as you can to avoid the spikes right there. So go right slightly and save the cat, or get your game safe. But before heading to the right, we're gonna go back. Jump up on these little slanty bits of slantnesses. Uh, be aware there are spikes here, so do a running jump and jump over. And another set of spikes. And then when we go all the way up to the left, again, this is another very easily missable fragment. But this is the 
fifth one that we can grab. There is another one or two, I believe, that we can grab in this level. So if you don't have this one yet, do not panic. Uh, kill yourself anyway. N not literally, I just mean on the game, sorry. Uh, jump into the spikes and then we can come back. So, uh, jump over these little bits of platforms. Again, there's spikes on the bottom, so be careful. Otherwise, we're going to keep going to the right. Jump over the pit and the next pit. And keep going. Jump over the next pit. Yeah. And the next one. And now we can start heading down. So just drop straight down. Save the game with the cat here. And then head to the right. There's, there is a fragment to the left. But we don't need it. Uh, but we, So we can just drop to the right. There's another fragment here as well. If needed. Keep jumping over the pits. Now when we drop down here. Be careful. But this For some reason I kept dying on these spikes. Make a running jump. And yeah, just jump over the next pit. But yeah, for some reason there, I kept dying over and over, which was annoying. Uh, we are getting close now to the end of the first level. So there's the cat save. That's exactly what we need. Um, so just keep going right. Loads of people playing Hi-Fi Rush and Dead Space. And I'm putting out a guide which uh, takes less than 10 minutes. Well, aren't I something? Uh, so <laughs> just, oh, what a content creator I really am. So just keep dropping down. Uh, pretty sure there's not that much danger now um, so we're just going to stay right as much as we can and we're going to climb up the ladder which will get us the going up achievement eventually you need to press the a button or b button and climb up by the way and once we get all the way to the right then we will have completed the first level so you could probably do this a lot quicker but you know it's all good life is good anyway that should now be 10 out of 10 so if you have a double check, um, my Xbox messed up, so it says 7 out of 10, but you should have 10 out of 10. So there we go then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the uh, game. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well, and it helped. Of course, uh, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big massive shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon and everything else. And, for, and to my YouTube members as well. Thank you so much. But I'll see you in the next one. Big love.